Rakshasa can be compatible with Manusha. Manusha can be compatible with Dev. Uttra Falguni wants to maintain a relationship. Purva Falguni wants to start a relationship. Good morning, good evening, Namaste, Salaam Alaikum. Welcome to Conscious Astrology, Conscious Co-Creation YouTube channel. Where we are taking a deep dive aspects into nakshatras, into zodiacs, into life paths, into soul paths, into career, into relationships. Okay? There's tons of content over here. And if you want to get in touch with me, the links are in the description box. Also the podcast on Spotify and Apple and Samsung and blah, 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 blah. So welcome to my channel. Take your time. Explore. And this channel content is best viewed on tablets like iPad, Samsung, etc. Or on laptops and desktop. That's just the way I present it. Okay. Thank you for your likes, share, subscribes. And let's get started. So now we come to the 12th nakshatra of Uttra Falguni. Moon in Uttra Falguni for a man or a woman. What relationship, what intimacy can be lasting for them in marriage and in relationship? For a man or woman's moon in Uttra Falguni, the first level of compatibility would be Uttra Falguni itself because the same nakshatra right, matches. They understand each other very well. The next level of compatibility is the third sign from Leo, which happens to be Libra, as you can see over there. And moon should be over Swati Nakshatra. Uttra Falguni Nakshatra in Leo. Why? Because it goes into Virgo also. Okay, so I'm talking specifically about Leo here. So moon in Uttra Falguni in Leo will match with Swati Nakshatra, which is third place in Libra from Leo. Okay. Better to watch an iPad. The next level of Compatibility for Moon in Uttar Falguni would become the fourth sign of Scorpio and the Moon in Anuradha Nakshatra because Anuradha is Devgana. We are always trying to ascend in terms of higher vibration, in terms of higher level of understanding. Devganas have a higher level of understanding by default compared to the other two. So we are trying to move up the ladder, so to speak. So Uttra Falguni being a Manusha Gana will be compatible with the Dev Ganas in a better way. Uttra Falguni will learn from Anuradha. Think of that. So Anuradha Nakshatra in the fourth sign of Scorpio from Leo. The next level of compatibility for the Uttra Falguni moon, man or a woman, is the sign of Aquarius, right opposite. And because Aquarius is right opposite, it's more definably compatible. So, 11th sign of Aquarius has compatibility would be Puro Bhadrapala. Trafalguni in Leo, Moon, and Man or Woman's, and the partner's Moon in Purva Bhadrapada in Aquarius. Very careful about these Padas here. Purva Bhadrapada also goes in Pisces, not that. We are talking about Purva Bhadrapada Padas within Aquarius. This will match very well also. Because both are Manusha Ganas again. Do not match under any circumstances Devgana to Rakshasa Gana. Do not do that mistake. It's a recipe for divorce. Next level of compatibility is between Moon in Uttra Falguni to the partner's moon in Rohini Nakshatra or Mrigishisha Nakshatra within the sign of Taurus. Okay? Rohini is Manushakana, Mrigishisha is Devgana, fine, compatible. Okay? Next level of compatibility would be the 11th sign of Gemini from Leo. It is Gemini as marked there. And it is compatible with all three. Rikshisha in Gemini, Ardra in Gemini, and Punarvasu in Gemini. Why? Because the Ganas are the matching compatibility. Higher level of ascendance, if you want to take it in relationship, obviously would be Rikshisha and Punarvasu because both are their Ganas. That's the higher level. If you want to stretch this relationship a little more and find better partners, it's nothing like that, but the Gana matching is very crucial. Rakshasa should is definitely compatible with Rakshasa Gana, yes. Manusha to Manusha, yes. Dev to Dev, yes. 
but we are trying all kinds of combos here remember so we need to understand that rakshasa can be compatible with manusha manusha can be compatible with dev that's the higher ladder you are moving up the ladder of association of intimacy of bonding humans want to bond with one another by default we are gregarious creatures we are not loners like other mammals are some of the others so next let us examine uttra falguni and what are the characteristics of intimacy that uttra falguni brings to the table which is slightly different from purva falguni purva falguni wants to initiate stuff in relationships uttra falguni wants to maintain that relationship you will see this in the next slide so there is the chart for you folks uttra falguni the 12th nakshatra which falls in the sign of leo and 10 degrees into virgo so 26.4 degrees of leo to 10 degrees of virgo guna is rajas so it wants to move a lot rajas is a very strong moving energy tatva is fire so it wants to move a lot we can do analysis in many different counts here yes nadi is vata nadi is more of a health issue so we'll not worry about that because we are talking about intimacy here so the ganush gana is manushya deity is aryaman always the key to understanding nakshatras is to understand the deities then we have covered this in so many ways in rahu and ketu study we have covered this navamsha study and we shall continue to unravel this more and more and more there are layers and layers of this stuff but let's get into the leo part of uttar falguni and intimacy characteristics intimacy intimacy characteristics will, will be pretty much the same between leo and virgo so this is common factor okay the moon sign compatibility might differ here and there we shall see that in the further slides what are the characteristics of intimacy for an uttar falguni nakshatra they are loving and affectionate they express their love and care for their partners in gentle nurturing ways how beautiful is that they genuinely care for the well-being of their partners and often go out of their way to help them and uplift them beautiful aspect right uttra falguni wants to maintain a relationship purva falguni wants to start a relationship just saying that responsible and reliable they take their commitments very seriously and prioritize creating a stable secure environment for their loved ones they value long term partnerships and are dedicated to nurturing and maintaining the bond with their partners again once again we are seeing a drive towards maintenance maintenance of a relationship not just starting one it's one thing to start a relationship start an affair start a love affair and another quite another thing to maintain it long term we are talking about long term intimacy aspects so if you are a man or a woman or if you have a partner if you are already married and their moon is in uttra falguni you need to understand this about them next they are traditional people this is where the leo comes in the leo is quite traditional zodiac sign they have traditional values they value cultural heritage and may seek partners who shares share similar values and beliefs you might be seeing a commonality with magha nakshatra there we covered magha nakshatra already you can watch that so traditional aspect right they want cultural heritage their culture whichever culture you are born in in the world doesn't matter but they value that a lot my culture my race my country whatever my culture is right this matters a lot to them so you connect with them at the traditional value factor and you connect with them very well good communication skills they are able to express their feelings and thoughts clearly fostering open and honest communication in their relationship you need to be open with your uttra falguni you can't just be shut off you can't be secretive This is where the challenge might come with Anuradha Nakshatra. Remember the fourth position we just covered, which is in Scorpio. Even though it is a Devgana, Anuradha Nakshatra needs to talk a little more, not just keep things in the head buried or secretive about things. They are sensitive to criticism. Who isn't? But Uttra Falguni is more of 
they value praise and appreciation over criticism and we need partners who can provide constructive feedback with sensitivity that's the key word with sensitivity people just love to criticize don't they especially indians they are critical about everything we need to develop a culture of appreciation first criticism next even in relationships even in work every area of our life fellow indians don't jump to criticism first it's very easy to mouth off everybody is got a loose tongue if you do that you are killing your relationship they value praise and appreciation and we need partners who can provide constructive feedback with sensitivity they strive to create a peaceful and harmonious atmosphere and may provide and may avoid conflict wherever possible avoidance of conflict this is again a theme even noticed in anuradha nakshatra avoidance of conflict maybe even in mrikshisha nakshatra avoidance of conflict so this theme will play out in different nakshatras you will see practical and grounded it's a practical nakshatra especially going into virgo you see virgo is very practical it trafalguni goes into 10 degrees of virgo so that becomes very grounded and it is a manushya gana so it will be more and more grounded yeah they value stability and may seek partners who can provide a sense of practicality and security practicality folks it's not just about romance yes romance is a very essential component yes totally it should be there throughout life totally keep building on that romance totally yet there is an element of practicality you need to pay the bills you need to have the money you need to be growing in your own ways don't just be static in your relationship no relationships ever work properly that way each person has going through a different set of mahadashas different set of ideologies different sets of energies and in this kind of a new energy everything is shifting so dynamically if a man or a woman in a relationship are going to want to flourish together you need to study you need to follow your pursuits your hobbies you need to study more and more give some food for the mind each one each of the partners then you can have a lasting kind of stability in the relationship just my take on it okay so this is compatibility list so to speak general list for the utrafalguni nakshatra next we shall come to the 13th nakshatra hasta nakshatra which is squarely in virgo okay devgana we shall see that next in the meantime take care be safe